Hi, JK friends. Um, one of our first books for this week is Your Five Senses. Those, these are my reader alouds this week. I'm going to be doing The Five Senses. I'm going to be doing You Smell With Your Nose, You Taste With Your Tongue, You Hear With Your Ears, You See With Your Eyes, and You Touch With Your Fingers. But the first book is about all five senses. So I'm going to start with that one. And while I'm reading, these are information books. So you should be able to tell someone facts, things that are true about the book after you read it. And you should know or learn something during the book or find something interesting about some of the facts that they tell you. Okay, so we're going to get started. And there are fun facts inside the story. So even though there aren't a lot of words, on every page there's a fun fact that I'm going to stop and read and it's usually in a circle or a bubble. Okay. Your Five Senses. This is written by Melvin and Gilda Berger. You have five senses. Hear, taste, see, touch, and smell. You see with your eyes. And you might see the word see, S-E-E. -E. That's a sight word for kindergarten. And there is your eye. And this eye is spelled E-Y-E, -E, not with the capital I. You find out about the world by seeing. And here's the fun fact. Light bounces off objects and into your eyes. Not the object, but the light. You hear with your ears. And there's a really cool picture right there of the inside of your ear. It's not the best to show you right now, but you might be able to go online so you can see what the inside of your ear looks like. I know you know what the outside looks like. The fun fact is, it says you use your ears to find out about sounds. The fun fact is very loud sounds can hurt our ears. And that would be probably why that boy is covering his ears up, is to protect his ears from the loud sound. You touch with your fingers and skin. And you can see the boy is touching a pineapple. And the fun fact says, nerves in your skin send messages to your brain. The picture right there is showing a girl and she's about to touch something hot. And when she touches it, her brain is gonna send, or her fingers, her nerves are gonna send a message to her brain or vice versa back and forth to tell her to pull her hand back because it's hot. And we use our skin and our fingers to find out about how things feel. She's touching a shell that looks very pokey right now. You taste with your tongue. And the fun fact about your tongue right here is your tongue picks up four tastes, sweet, salty, sour, and bitter. Bitter's like when you're like, bleh, tastes bad, like a medicine or something. You find out how foods taste by using your sense of taste. Sweet taste, sour taste, salty taste, bitter taste. Taste you like and taste you don't like. And a fun fact is you have to try something probably 10 different times to find out if you really like that thing. So don't give up if you try something once and you don't like it. Ah yes, we smell with our nose. We find out how things smell. It's like they went to a restaurant and they're using chopsticks. Your sense of smell is stronger than your sense of taste. So our nose 
Her smell is stronger than our sense of taste on her tongue. Fun fact. Sometimes you can see and hear. She's seeing and she's hearing the television. It's kind of an older style television, but it is a television. The fun fact says, two senses bring you more information than just one. So if you use your two senses, you're getting more information than if you just use one sense. A lot of times you use two at once. Oof, this is a fun page. Sometimes you can see hear and touch. The boy is seeing the puppies, he's hearing the puppies, and he's touching the puppies. He could probably even smell the puppies. Puppies have a great smell. It's a puppy smell. Sometimes you use all five senses. Think about how the boy eating cotton candy is using his sense of taste. He's tasting it. He can smell the cotton candy. He can see the cotton candy. He can touch the cotton candy. Let's see, see, smell, touch, taste, and hmm. I don't know if he can hear it. He probably could hear it being made because they make it on a machine that makes a sound, so he might have heard it. And that's our book for today, Your Five Senses. Uh, this week, if you want to draw a picture of you doing something with the five senses, I put some examples like I see the flowers, I smell or taste the strawberries, um, I can hear a dog, um, do a different drawing or a different uh, picture for each book this week. So it'll kind of tie into writing and it'll tie into information books and it will actually tie into science too. Bye!